Let's create this radio effect with your voice in Ableton. Dude, why does it feel like I'm falling? I'm falling. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is add a audio track and then add a MIDI track. Then click on both of these and group them. I'm just going to rename the group. And then this audio track, I'm going to rename voice. This MIDI is actually going to be a uh, faceplant with some noise in it. So I'm just going to call it faceplant. And just real quick, I'm going to go ahead and insert a faceplant inside of this track. I'm going to come down here to the modulators, add an LFO, turn the rate up all the way, come over here to this analog generator group and just click X on that because we're not going to be using an analog generator. And then I want to use a noise. I'm going to come down here to the gain, right click that and hit INF. So that way there's no volume coming out. And then I'm going to come over here to the plus of our LFO, right click on the gain and modulate it by 50%. Then for our effects, I'm just going to add a simple filter, make it a high pass, turn down the Q a little bit, right click on the cutoff and set it to around 2000. And then for our master gain right here, it's going to be very, very low in volume. <laughs> so I'm going to right click and set it to negative 38. So it's going to be like barely noticeable, um, but this is just going to add a little bit of like hiss inside of our radio effect. So yeah, it's just to add some noise. Okay, so we're not gonna really do any processing inside of the voice track or the faceplant. Um, all of the processing is gonna be happening inside of the group. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab an Ableton Overdrive audio effect, and then I'm just going to right click on it and click on group. Or you can just hit Control G. And I'm just gonna open up this uh, effect group and I'm just gonna rename it. For our overdrive audio effect, I'm going to turn the drive up to 71%. And then I'm going to turn up the frequency to around like 2000, so around there. And then for the Q, I'm going to click on that and type in 2.62. Now the next audio effect I'm going to add is a kilohertz convolver. This is another reason why I really love using uh, kilohertz uh, snap-ins because not only can you use them inside of Faceplant, but you can also use them as individual plugins, which is really cool that they give you that option. For the impulse response, I'm going to click on this and go to Spaces Real and look for Old Sedan. Hopefully I said that right. <laughs> I'm going to click on that. I'm going to exit out of this, then right click on the mix and set it to 50%. And that is pretty much all we're going to do inside of this convolver effect. So we can go ahead and exit out of that. And now I'm going to add a EQ8 audio effect from Ableton. Then I'm going to hover over this first band and then I'm going to make it a high pass. I'm going to click on the frequency and set it to 500 hertz. Then I'm going to hover over the eighth band, make that a low pass filter click on the frequency and type in 5,700 kilohertz. Then I'm going to hover over this fifth band and boost around 2,000 hertz. So since we're already kind of there, I'm just going to go ahead and turn this Q up a little bit and just boost this by, let's, yeah, around three decibels. Uh, let's see, mess with the Q a little bit more. So around there is pretty good. And I guess we should go ahead and test this while we're at it. So I'm going to arm this. Uh, sorry if my voice duplicates because I think that's what it's probably about to do. Um, but yeah, let me let me arm this and let's test this out. Oh yeah, woo! I'm in a radio. Yeah, this is Radio FM. Oh shoot, am I going to get copyright? But yeah, it, it sounds good. I mean, honestly, we could just leave it like that. All right, um, uh, that was fun. Now we're going to add a compressor. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to arm this again. Uh, testing, testing. I'm gonna see where my, I'm gonna see where my um, uh, voice is at. So let's see. Around. Uh, I just want to compress my voice a little bit. So around like negative 25. And then for the output of our compressor, I'm gonna go ahead and set it to like four. Testing one two. Uh, radio. <coughs> Man, my voice is so dry. That's good right there. That's I just wanted to compress my voice. And then the last thing that I want to add is an OTT. And I'm not going to really mess with the settings too much in here. I'm just going to turn up the amount by 25%. Hello, hello. Perfect. And you can already kind of hear the noise in the background. 
Um, I'm going to turn this down, the amount down, by a little bit more, so maybe like 18% or so. So yeah, while you're recording your voice, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and say something. Houston, we have a problem. So if we, yeah, if we have our recording here. Houston, we have a problem. You can just come underneath here, insert a MIDI clip. It doesn't really matter what note you set down since it's just noise. It's not really harmonic or anything. You can just lay out some, uh, some MIDI and the noise inside of our faceplant will be playing in the background of our audio recording. Houston, we have a problem. Yeah, it's just to add hiss. That's optional. You don't have to do that. I mean, you really don't even need this uh, faceplant track. You could just use the voice audio track with the uh, effects on it. Personally, I kind of like the noise in the background, so I'm just going to keep that. And then, of course, if you really wanted to, you can add an echo Ableton audio effect on your, uh, on your group just for dramatic effect. And uh, turn up the reverb a little bit. Click on ping pong delay. And this you can like automate on your voice. Click on the dry wet. Click on show automation. And then modulate it like this. Houston, we have a problem. That sounds pretty cool too. But yeah, um, that's pretty much how you make a radio effect with your voice inside of Ableton. And like I said, the faceplant in the background is optional. You don't have to have the noise going. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Adios.